Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Google Analytics 4 on your Shopify store. If you already have Google Analytics installed, but you want to upgrade to Google Analytics 4, I have another video on that topic and I'll leave it below. The first thing you need to do to install Google Analytics 4 on your Shopify site is to go to this link here, analytics.google.com. I'll leave a link below in the description, make it really, really easy for you to go to. Go to that link, it's going to ask you to sign in with your Gmail or G Suite account. Once you have signed in, you'll see this page here. Welcome to Google Analytics. We're just going to click set up for free. We're now going to see this setup form and we're just gonna fill it in, it's super easy. The account name, that can be the name of your store. You can choose whatever data sharing settings you'd like. This is just the extra data that your account sends to Google. I'm gonna deselect everything. You can always reselect this stuff later. Click next. We're now gonna put in our store name as the property name. We're now going to put in our time zone. I recommend putting where you actually are located yourself. Now we're gonna put in the currency. I recommend that you put in the currency that you're actually using for all your Google Ads marketing as well. Just because if you're going to use Google Analytics to set up conversion tracking, it needs to be in the same currency as your Google Ads account. Otherwise, it's gonna be a really weird mismatch. And that's really, really important. Click next. This is just some information about your business. Put whatever you'd like here. We're now going to click create. It's now going to ask us about the terms of service agreement. Of course, this isn't legal advice. Read this, you know, whatever, but I'm gonna accept it. You're now gonna be taken into the dashboard. It's gonna ask us about email communications. I just like to turn on the first one, which is performance suggestions and updates. Click save. Now we need to set up our data stream. This is connecting your Shopify store to your analytics account. So we're just gonna click web right here. If you can't see this page, just go down here to data streams and then we're gonna click web. Okay, here you're gonna put in the URL of your e-commerce store. So this is my e-commerce store here. I'm gonna put in key surface, go back here and put that in and I'm gonna name it the actual name of my store. It's a dummy store, of course. Okay, enhanced measurement, I'm gonna keep that on and click create stream. You should now be seeing this window here. If you're not seeing this window, click on your data stream here for your site that you just created. Now, to install your tracking code, go down to this one here, the global site tag, and click copy. We're now over on our Shopify dashboard. We're gonna install this directly on our site in the theme. Okay, just follow exactly what I do here. On the left-hand side, go to online store. Make sure you have theme selected on the left-hand side. I'm now going to click actions, edit code. It's going to open up this page. You'll see the code here. Make sure on the left-hand side, you click theme.liquid. It'll say theme.liquid above. We're gonna go down to this section here that says head. Look for the head tag right there. It should be very close to the top. You're then going to type enter and make some space and then paste in the code that you copied from Google Analytics. Once that's in there like that, just click save. It'll say asset saved down the bottom. The next thing we need to do is go to our Shopify store and click around a little bit. We're going to click around just to send some data to Google Analytics. This is going to trigger our tracking code so we can make sure it's actually working in our analytics account. We're now going to go back to Google Analytics. We're gonna exit out of the stream details and on the left-hand side, we're going to click real time. This page here shows who's on the website and that the tracking code is firing in real time. It hasn't yet activated yet. So I'm going to wait two to three minutes and maybe even go back to my store and click around a little bit just to confirm that it was set up properly. Okay guys, you can now see that it's activated. It says one user in the last 30 minutes and the pages that I visited are all here below. If it's still not showing up as activated, here are a few things you can do. Firstly, you can try refreshing this page here. That could sometimes help. The second thing you can do is open up your store in an incognito window. Browse around your store, check back in a few minutes and see if that helped. If it's still not working, I want you to confirm that the tag is actually installed. Here's how you do that. Go to your website, right click on the page and click view page source. It'll then open up the code. You'll see here the exact code that we edited before on the site and you can see it says global site tag, Google Analytics and this is the same code that we installed just before over here. If it's not showing up on this page here, then make sure that you click save when you put the code in, but also make sure that you clear the cache. Click around your site again, try an incognito window, and then check Google Analytics, and it should start showing up within a few minutes. One last thing I wanna talk about is the fact that Google Analytics can't be natively installed in Shopify yet. If you go to the Preferences tab of your Shopify dashboard, you'll see this box that says Google Analytics account. If you try to post your code in here, 
it's going to say that there's an error. It says analytic snippet does not look valid. This is because Shopify hasn't updated their dashboard or their platform yet to allow us to install the analytics tag directly into the preferences. This is why we have to install it in the code of the website. Later, once they do update their platform, I'm going to make a video and show you how to install it this way as well. Until then, the way I've taught you in this video works perfectly fine. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope that was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments below, give this video a like, and I recommend checking out my other videos where I teach you how to grow your e-commerce store, how to build your website, how to grow your Google Ads account, and all that awesome stuff. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.